ました。This video production is brought to you by Pack and Away Mobile Storage. We bring the storage unit to your door, pack it at your place, and store it at ours. Pack and Away Storage is a division of Highway Number One Self Storage. We are proud supporters of the Number Two NLSA Sprint Car and Number Twenty X Modified. Quite sure what happened out there, but. Uh it was all behind me anyway, so I didn't see what was going on. But yeah, there was, it was a bit of a gong show. Normally it's not so bad, but uh, usually BMOD's are pretty good racing. All right, thanks very much, Bertie Dobson. A great job in the Midwest Modified Division. And now we are going to the Modified Division, starting on the pole in the Emory Demolition. 10W is Ward Emory. Outside the 1R is Rick Delane. He is sponsored by Johnson's Hog Barbecue and Westbrook Manufacturing. Inside row two, the Coyote Ventures 29K is Ryan Carolock. On the outside, the Simpsons Transfer 57 is the veteran, Kevin Sexton. Inside row three, the A1 is Ian Russo. Outside, the seven is Danny Staff. Row four inside out of Greenbush, Minnesota, the 74 is Dustin Wall. And outside, Jerome Gio drives the Miller Racing Engines number 48. Rounding out the field in the Ford, Les no, Lee McRae. Lee McRae and Le we're going green.
white flag out for your leader Ward Emery. Second, it's a 57 of Sexton. Third, it's Delane. Fourth, the Iwana Russo rounding out the top five, the 29 of Kerlick. At the moment, we have a lap to go. Ward Emery started up front, and now you know why we invert the field. It's one thing I'll give Wazota credit for. There's your winner, Ward Emery, in the 10. Second spot goes to Kevin Sexton. Third spot to Rick Delane. Fourth to the A1 of Ian Russo. And rounding out the top five, the 29 of Ryan Carolock. What a great race. Well, joining me up here in the booth, a girl that drove the car to victory tonight. Never drove that car before. Congratulations to you, Amber. That must have been fun. Thanks. I had a lot of fun in that car. It was definitely very fun. It's a different, a different brand than yours, too. Is it a lot different to drive or not really? I run a Bailey chassis, and tonight I ran a Henchcraft, and I definitely noticed a bit of a difference. In the heat race, it is definitely a change, and uh, in the future, I just adapted to it um, pretty decent. So uh, I uh, definitely am thinking about changing up chassis.